from Canterbury Trails Farm. Today I'm in the kitchen and we're going to be making squash cookies. And I know that might sound really strange, but just sort of think of like pumpkin pie and pumpkin and squash, all sort of the same thing. And in fact, this recipe is so versatile, you can use any kind of squash and you're going to get the same result. If you do use pumpkin in place of like acorn squash or hook crook neck squash or yellow squash or summer squash or winter squash, any of the squashes, if you use pumpkin, you're going to get a little bit more of a pumpkin-y taste because squash will assume more of the flavors of the other ingredients. But it's still all good. Today I'm going to be using acorn squash puree. I had a lot of it that I froze over the early fall and summer and so I'm going to be using the acorn squash puree. So the first thing you need to do is preheat your oven to three to start with you're going to need two cups of flour. You're going to need a half a cup of butter or one stick. You're going to need one egg. You're going to need a one third cup of brown sugar. You're going to need two teaspoons of cinnamon. You could get away with a third if you, if you really like your cinnamon. You're going to need two teaspoons of baking powder. You're going to need one teaspoon of vanilla. You're going to need one cup of squash puree. And you're going to need one fourth to one third cup of molasses. I'm just going to use one fourth. I don't know about you, but I have to keep my molasses bagged up in the pantry for those sugar ants to find them. And they get all up under the rim and they get somehow they manage to get into the jar. We're also going to need a shaker of cinnamon and sugar that we're going to use to sprinkle on it when we're all, when we're all finished. And I use it, we're going to do it in one inch sort of uh, scoops. So I use like a half tablespoon measure. Right, let's get that mixed up. Put it in one inch scoops. Do a sprinkle of cinnamon and sugar. Pop those in the oven for 12 minutes. The cookies are out. I'm having problems keeping them in the bowl. I said, I said no more co eating cookies until I get them all the video done. So they've been disappearing here. Yeah, spongy and like a, they're really like a good, almost like a cross between a cookie and a scone. And they're really a good, I think a coffee cookie. Variations would be to add for a real fall treat, some dried cranberries and butterscotch chips are good or raisins would be the old standby. But I just wanted to use up my puree that I had and this was a quick recipe. And so a good this has been Angie that. with the squash cookies and I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Thanks for joining us today.